My name is Pardeep Jaffa. Um, I'm in the data engineering stream and I joined Kubrick in December of 2020. So the reason I joined Kubrick is primarily due to kind of the wealth of great clients that they've got, the pay training as well. So having four months of pay training. So I know a lot of other competitors don't pay during training. And then obviously just, I had other friends that have gone through the, just the Kubrick model before. So I was really looking forward to it and it seemed a great way to get into the industry, which otherwise isn't too easy to get into unless you've done sort of a computer science degree. So it's kind of bridges the gap quite well. The role of a data engineer, there's so much data out there and and it's not surprising that it's all in different formats, different structures. Most of it doesn't really like work with the other data sets out there. It's quite messy at times because usually a lot of the data has been collected but not really been looked at, cleaned, you know, checked. So it's just all out there. A wealth of knowledge but not really been utilised. So as a data engineer, you're kind of part of the front team that kind of works with this data to, you know, get all your sources um, working with each other. A lot of cleansing, a lot of data wrangling, which is like the general term for like, you know, cleaning up your data, fixing columns, all the other kind of technical stuff. And then usually in the end, getting the data into some sort of format which is usable, usually by the wider business or maybe by other data engineers or other people. But yeah, the main thing is to kind of get everything to work together as best as you can. So the training that I had, it was a four month training program and it was brilliant. The very start of training, you get split into groups of five, so roughly five groups and hours. Um, and the purpose of that is if we go away and do little projects, mini projects, little tasks during the training, you kind of have that group of five, it's almost like your team, which is kind of one way it reflects to the real world. Cause in the real world, you wouldn't really be working by yourself. You would be in a team and collaborating and sharing workloads. So that was a really nice way to both live by the knowledge and also kind of give us appreciation of how the future of working as a data engineer would be. The training as well was quite modular with kind of what we we're learning. So was, whether it's like Python, you did Python for say a week and then SQL for two weeks and then also did some data visualization stuff. So we actually learned Tableau and Power BI. And then also for some big data stuff, we worked a bit with Hadoop and Spark as well. We did Pandas and a bit of machine learning as well. So there's a lot of various stuff we actually worked on with in Python. And really nice way for the training to end was the final two weeks where you do a big project as the whole group of the whole cohort that you have. For us, for example, um, it was for actually a real client. It was a project that we worked on that the client actually took away and used. It wasn't just like a fake project. And it gave us an opportunity not only to then work as an even bigger team on a bigger project, but also gave us some real life experience in like client engagement, stakeholder engagement. We actually talked with the client, worked out requirements, tried methodologies that we've been taught at the very start of training, such as agile, because we knew like with the short span of time to work it in, we had to be fast and effective. But it was a really nice way to enter training because it kind of brought all of the things you've learned from training together in this nice example and also hearing that it was going to be used by the actual client in the real world was a really nice feeling. As data engineer you can work with a lot of different people whether that's the people at the back end that help actually code up and create the data sets and then also kind of obtaining requirements from people that are slightly higher up so yeah you do collaborate with a lot of different people from the business. Data engineering role definitely applies to anyone that loves problem solving so it's kind of sometimes you're bogged down in different problems but when you get to the end of it if you do really enjoy it and also anyone that's quite analytical so you can as data engineer be involved in quite a lot of different side of the pipeline whether that's kind of far end where you're doing a lot of data visualization and analysis so i'd say predominantly people that are into problem solving and with an analytical mindset with the client that i'm at currently i'm in a team where we're responsible for getting the data from its various sources um, to the um, kind of the front facing business part because they use the data to do like their predictions and analysis. So in that team, we run this same process every month, which always, always comes up with new errors and new things to investigate every month. So as a team, you kind of work out what needs to be looked at, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be investigated. It's great to get your foot in the door with um, some of the bigger clients. I don't think I would have got into a career in data, let alone data engineering, if it wasn't for Kubrick's offering. I first wouldn't have taken that first step and just dived into the industry. I would have found it really hard and lots of barriers and just thought, oh, it's not worth it. Whereas Kubrick's made it really like enticing to come into data industry. You just got to show that attitude to learn. Kubrick will like that. And it's just given me um, a lot of exposure to things, which is developed myself, which can allow me to you know, develop further in the future. But it's really important about the foundations. And I think the foundations, Kubrick have done a really good job, <laughs> for me at least. <laughs>